Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand what is ELK stack, how to set up ELK stack in our system to perform log monitoring for our applications. For every application, logging will be available in the real time to understand the runtime behavior of the application. If any exception occurred, we need to find out root cause of the exception. For that, we need to check logs of the application. Here, if you have multiple microservices running, then multiple log files will be created. So to find out the root cause of the issue, going to each and every log file and verifying the log message is very difficult. So that's why we are going to use this ELK stack to simplify log monitoring of our applications. ELK stack is the combination of three open source products. They are Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. As you see in the diagram, Logstash is responsible to read the logs from the log files and index those logs into Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is used to store all the logs at one place. Once the logs are stored in the Elasticsearch, to retrieve the logs from there, we are going to use Kibana. Kibana is going to provide a beautiful user interface to retrieve the logs from the Elasticsearch. By using this Kibana user interface, we can get the logs based on the time, we can get the logs based on the date, we can get the logs based on some pattern also. Before getting started, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashok and welcome to our channel Ashok IT. If you are new to our channel, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Alright, let's get started. Now we are going to set up ELK stack in our system. Elasticsearch. If you go to this URL in the browser, you can find out that. Elasticsearch software can be downloaded from this location. Download Elasticsearch. If you click on this Windows button, Elasticsearch software will be downloaded. If you go for Kibana, this URL will help you to download Kibana software for our Windows platform. Logstash. This URL you can use to download Logstash in your system. These three softwares are required in order to perform our logs monitoring. I have already downloaded all these three softwares in my machine. Let me show you them. I'm having softwares folder. Here you can see Elasticsearch is available. Kibana is available. Logstash is available. We are able to download all these three softwares and extract the zip files. First, I'm going to run Elasticsearch. It is used to store the logs. So before going to run this Elasticsearch, there will be one Elasticsearch.yml file. We should go to that file, go to Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch config, Elasticsearch.yml file will be available. In this YML file, by default, some security related settings will be enabled. We need to make all those settings as false to run in our Windows machine. Enable security features, by default, true, true, true will be available. We need to make all of them as false in order to run in our local machine. Once that part is completed, let's go to bin directory and open command prompt. Let us start Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch, to start this, we are having a bat file. Elasticsearch bat file will be available. By using that Elasticsearch bat file, we can run this. Elasticsearch bat file is available. Yes, I'm running this Elasticsearch server. Once the Elasticsearch server is started, we can access that Elasticsearch server by using this URL. As we are running the Elasticsearch in the local machine, we can access that with the local host. By default, it will use the port number as 9200. Let us see here, Elasticsearch server is getting started. On which port number it is going to run? It will be running on the port number 9200. Okay, go to browser. Let us try to access that. Localhost colon 9200. I'm trying to access Elasticsearch. If you are able to get the output like this, that means your Elasticsearch server is up and running. Elasticsearch server is up and running. Now, let me go and start the Kibana. Kibana should connect with Elasticsearch. Okay. Let me go to the Kibana downloaded folder. Kibana is available. Kibana config. Kibana.yml is available. You can verify in the Kibana.yml that will connect with the Elasticsearch server. Kibana will connect with the Elasticsearch server. So, it is Kibana you see. Elasticsearch host, 
local host colon 9200. So in the Kibana YML file, the, there is a URL of Elasticsearch. That means Kibana will connect with Elasticsearch. Why? Kibana is just a UI application. Kibana should get the logs from the Elasticsearch. Let's go here. Go to Kibana bin directory. Let's execute Kibana.bat. That will start Kibana server. That's it. Kibana.bat. So it is going to run Kibana. So what is this Kibana? Kibana will provide the UI. Kibana server will be running on the port number 5601. Kibana will be running on the port number 5601. Let us verify. Kibana server is trying to start. Once it started, it will connect with Elasticsearch because Elasticsearch is already up and running. My Elasticsearch is already up and running. That is used to store the logs. Yeah. I'm waiting for my Kibana to start. Yes. Kibana server is trying to start now. It will run on the port number 5601. That Kibana will provide dashboard to monitor logs of our application. Okay. Go here. Access Kibana dashboard. Yes. Now you see the Kibana dashboard is loading. That is used to monitor the logs. In this Kibana dashboard, in this Kibana dashboard, you can go here and you can click on observability. You can click on observability. So here log streams will be available. Here you can check for the logs. What are the logs that are available? You can check for the logs. Last 15 minutes, currently any logs are available. Currently there are no logs are available. First of all, our application should be ready, which will generate the log. That log will be taken by Logstash. Logstash will give that to the Elastics. Timely application is available. In this application, currently, we don't have any logging. Okay. One simple controller is available. Message controller is available. Let me implement some logging in this application. Private logger. SLF4J logger. I'm going for logger factory. Logger factory SLF4J dot get logger. For this message controller, I want one logger dot class. Now, how to write the logging in this method? For that, we will go for logger dot info. I'm going to say that welcome message execution started. Welcome message execution started. And once that method execution is completed, I'm going to say welcome message execution ended. This is my log message guys welcome message execution started welcome message execution ended like this i have my log message now when my application is executed this log message will be printed i want to print that log message on the file let me configure that log dot logger dot pattern dot file logging dot pattern dot file or i can specify logging dot file dot name or file dot path anything is fine logging dot file dot name i'm giving the file name as app dot log okay let us refresh our application currently we don't have any file with the name called app dot log right click run as boot application i'm running this application in this there is a rest controller slash welcome URL pattern is available. I have specified properties file name as app.log. Refresh. My application is getting started. You can see the log message will be generated. The log file will be created by our application and it will store log messages of our application. Refresh. Right click run as boot application. Yeah, now you can see app.log file is created. If you open that file, in that file, all the log messages are available. Now let me go and send a request to this application. View all products. No products are available. Add the product, keyboard, price, 500, quantity, 10. Click on submit. Product got saved. View products. Product is available. Okay. So with this, we are able to run our application. Whenever I run our application, let us refresh it. Let us see the log file. App.log is available. All the application logs 
are stored into this log file whatever the error is available whatever the execution that happened the log file is available these are the logs now i want this log stash to take the logs of our application and it should give to elastic search elastic search should give it to the kibana from the kibana i want to access so for this i need to go and run my log stash already my elastic search is running and my kibana is also running now i need to run my log stash in the log stash i need to specify the path where our log file is available so go here softwares log stash bin log stash dot bat file is available for that i need to provide a input log stash configuration will be available in that configuration i am going to specify log stash sample dot conf in that file i am going to specify where my log file is available sample conf file in this conf file we can specify the path of our log so where my log file is available my log file is available in the project directory workspace what is the project name that is 18 18th application timelift app here my app dot log is available let me copy this path so this path i am going to give as a input here this one i am going to give as a input i am telling to my log stash my application log file is available here you take the log file from that location and you give it to elastic search elastic search will give it to kibana this is the url of the elastic search so once it is done let us go and start our elastic search server bin directory bin directory here log stash sample dot con file is available let me go to bin directory let me keep that here log stash sample dot con file is available if you open that con file it is having the path of my log file where the log is available application log file i am giving to log stash log stash will give it to elastic search elastic search will give it to kibana right i have already given that now let me go and start my log stash so to start the log stash again there is a command log stash dot bat file is available iphone f sample con file we are providing as input now it is going to start the log stash for the log stash i have given the config file as the input that config file contains the path of our application log file finally the log stash server got started successfully started the log stash api it will be running on the port number 9600 and here 9200 this is elastic search this is our actual spring boot application and here our kibana is available kibana is providing the user interface to monitor logs of our application i'm trying to monitor the logs of our application log streams will be available check for a new data let me access our application go to add new product view all products add new product view products now go here and refresh check for a new data anonymize categories logs yes now you see we are able to access our application logs by using this kibana so now here live logs also you can get it so in dot ashok and the product controller product page is loaded product view page is loaded like this you can get the logs by using this kibana logs so like this application logs we can monitor by using this elk stack when the exception occurred if you want to check for the exception then you can type some exception so the log messages which contains the exception it is displaying now see here i have given the keyword as exception here extended time frame by 7 minutes right here the messages which contains only exception keyword only those messages are coming in the search result so like this you can search for the logs